Hi, PerspectiveWeather.com. Meteorologist Paul Dorian here on Tuesday, November 5th. Well, the big story around the Mid-Atlantic region and the Northeast U.S. over the coming days will be the unusual cold. We have two different cold air blasts coming to the Mid-Atlantic and the Northeast U.S. The first one arrives at the end of the work week, late Thursday night and Friday. It starts off the weekend with very cold conditions for the early part of November. A second blast of Arctic air arrives during the early part of next week. I thought we'd start off here by looking at some backward trajectory plots here to just to show where this cold air is coming from that will arrive with this first blast. This is actually going back in time uh, from Saturday, upcoming Saturday morning to today. So basically the next four days the air that will arrive in both Atlanta and New York City will come from way up in northern Canada. Here's the trajectory plot of the air again beginning today and then arriving in Atlanta by Saturday morning. The point I want to make is look how far north this air will originate and you get that kind of a flow in the upper air pattern when high pressure ridging over Alaska, the west coast of Canada sets up and that wind flow brings that colder air down from way up in Canada. Similarly, New York City, the air will originate today uh, uh, over uh, Hudson Bay and then come all the way down to New York City by Saturday morning. And again, I think Friday night, early Saturday, there could be many records that will fall in the northeastern part of the nation. Perhaps some areas will see their lowest temperatures ever for this early in the season. In the urban corridor, D.C., Philadelphia, New York City, expect temperatures to drop into the 20s by early Saturday morning. And again, the air will be coming from way up in northern Canada down into the mid-Atlantic region and also down into the southeastern part of the nation by the early part of the upcoming weekend. Well, let's continue to focus on the cold air coming. First of all, we'll look, we'll look at the five-day average 850 millibar temperature anomalies from last night's ensemble run of the GFS at 6Z. This is for the current five-day period. And we talked about this yesterday, a polar stream just bringing cold air mass after cold air mass from central Canada across the Great Lakes into the mid-Atlantic region, northeast U.S. This, uh, the main cold air outbreak uh, over the next few days will arrive in the Thursday night, Friday time frame. There will be some moisture to deal with along that frontal boundary zone uh, uh, late Thursday into Thursday night. Rain will fall in the urban corridor, Philadelphia, D.C., New York City. There's a chance that it ends as uh, some snow shower activity late Thursday night into early Friday morning. And accumulating snow is likely uh, across the interior sections of the northeast U.S., let's say the upper part of Maine and northern and western part of New Hampshire and Vermont could get uh, some significant snow out of this. And maybe even some snowflakes will mix in along the urban corridor. But the bigger story will be the cold. Windy cold day on Friday will be followed by uh, very, very cold conditions for the early part of November Friday night going into the early part of the weekend. Let's now jump ahead to days 6 to 10. And here we go. This runs from November 10th to November 15th all the way to the middle part of the month of November. Look at this cold. This is just uh, incredible for this time of the year. How widespread it is. The eastern two-thirds of the nation. And again, this is kind of similar to the pattern I, I'm expecting for the uh, winter season as a whole from November through March with uh, colder than normal conditions in much of the eastern half of the nation and the west uh, warmer than normal. And this is really just uh, kind of a beginning uh, opening salvo to that story here of colder than normal over the Great Lakes, the mid-Atlantic, the northeastern U.S. But this is an impressive cold air mass. This represents the second cold air shot that arrives somewhere in the Monday time frame. Again, there could be a few flakes mixed in to talk about with the arrival of that frontal passage early next week, but the bigger story will be the widespread cold for this time of the year. Let's now jump ahead even farther out into the month of November. And here we go. This is again from the ensemble run of the GFS at 6Z for days 11 to 15. This takes us all the way through the middle part of November and even into the third week of November from November 15th to the 20th and still 
just a, a, a relentless cold here for this part of the nation, keeping in mind that the ensemble runs tends to smooth things out as you go farther and farther out in time. So this is very impressive indeed when you're looking at it days 11 to 15 forecast from the ensemble run. But again, warmer than normal out in the west and colder than normal here in the Great Lakes region, the Mid-Atlantic, and the Northeast U.S. all the way through at least the middle part of the month of November. Well, for today, pretty mild day here in the uh, I-95 Carter region. High temperatures at least 60 degrees in Philly, New York City, D.C., ahead of the next cold frontal system. And here it is. That cold front slides through the overnight hours, and we knock off 5 or 10 degrees for Wednesday. And chilly conditions again for Wednesday and Thursday, but the real uh, cold blast to talk about arrives Thursday night and Friday. And again, Friday, a windy and a cold day. Could be rain late Thursday, Thursday night with the frontal system and maybe even changing over some snow shower activity. And again, accumulating snow late Thursday night into early Friday in this part of the interior northeastern U.S. right in this region right here. There could be a few flakes mixing in along the urban corridor from uh, in the far northwestern suburbs of D.C. to the suburbs of Philly and New York City. But the bigger story will be the cold air coming. And again, there could be some records that fall Friday night going into early Saturday morning. Well, let's walk through the surface forecast mass from the 6Z operational model run. And it can be a shower or two over the next few hours well to the north and west of I-95 as this cold front approaches. But for the most part, today will be a milder day. Uh, with high temperatures at or above 60 degrees in the I-95 Carter region and partly sunny skies. Now as we move forward here we'll see colder air advancing backed up by high pressure over the Midwest by tomorrow and it will we'll knock off at least 5 or 10 degrees for highs from 60 degrees today to closer to 50 to degrees on Wednesday afternoon and then here's the beginning sign of that cold air blast that arrives in the east Thursday night and Friday. And here we go. Uh, uh, moisture will ride along that frontal boundary zone and it will be cold enough for snow uh, up upper part of the Ohio Valley, the interior section of the Mid-Atlantic and Northeast late Thursday, Thursday night. Mainly rain here in the I-95 Carter region, but again there can be some accumulations. Western New York upper part of New Hampshire and Vermont and certainly the western and northern part of Maine as well. Maybe in a few flakes will work its way into the I-95 Carter region. We're talking late Thursday night, early Friday morning before the precipitation ends as colder air moves in. But look at the pressure gradient that's setting up here for the day on Friday. Quite intense between the departing low and the approaching high. Strong northerly winds on Friday as that <clears throat> Next, very impressive cold air blast arrives, and then by Friday night, we'll have temperatures dropping way down into the 20s along the urban corridor. Very unusual for this time of the year, this early in the season. And then we'll start to move ahead here through the weekend, a chilly weekend. And here we go, the beginnings of the next cold air blast. And just look at this fetch of air here uh, by early Sunday morning, right from central Canada all the way dropping down into the midsection of the country all anchored by a very strong cold Canadian high in the southwestern part of Canada. This next cold blast frontal system arrives in the east Sunday night, Monday time frame, and we'll be back in the deep freeze uh, for later Monday going into Tuesday. This is the Monday evening forecast map, all anchored by strong cold high pressure over the nor northern plains by Monday night <coughs> of next week. So again, the main weather story over the next several days will be the cold, the relentless cold, really. There will be a milder conditions today, then cooler the next couple of days, but the next uh, impressive cold air blast arrives late Thursday night and Friday, followed by yet another uh, Arctic outbreak early part of next week, and that arrives early part of next week in the Mid-Atlantic region and the Northeast U.S. That's it for now for PerspectiveWeather.com. I'm meteorologist Paul Dorian.